Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. I wanted to share with you guys two new products that I've been using. Um, they're relatively new to the market. I've been using them for about four weeks um, and I'm liking them so far so I thought I would do a little review on them. And They are the Rock Retinal Correction Deep Wrinkle Night Cream and Eye Cream. And there is a um, kit, like a skincare kit that you can purchase that has two other uh, rock retinol creams. One is the night, one is the day, and then a serum, I think, um, and then the eye cream separately. But I went ahead and picked up these two. Now, I have always been very upfront with you guys. I've told you guys from the beginning, um, since I started making YouTube videos, that my skincare routine has always, always been very simple. It is elementary at best, and my reasoning for that is just that it has always worked for me. Um, I get so many requests to do a skincare video. Tell me what you use on your skin. Give me some, you know, suggestions. People that just ask questions regarding skincare, and I am the absolute worst person to ask because I, until recently, really I didn't even consider myself um, having a routine. My beauty regimen, as far as skincare was concerned, consisted of washing my face twice at night and then um, sorry that's my alarm and then uh, moisturizing before I put on my makeup and that was the extent of it I would use a salicylic acid acne treatment on a pimple if it popped up every now and then um, and then I would exfoliate with a buff puff it's part of washing my face twice is I exfoliate with buff puff um, and then that was like it I you know I would do a mask every now and then if I had something you know available that I would put on my face, but that was it. I wasn't, you know, I didn't have anything particular that I followed. And the only brands that I was really, you know, adamant about is um, Clean and Clear Face Wash. Clean and Clear Face Wash. I said that wrong, didn't I? Clean and Clear Face Wash and a Buff Puff. That is it. Um, my moisturizers, I would go, you know, whatever. I would buy whatever as long as it had SPF in it. Um, and every time I would do a video, you know, just telling you guys, hey, I just do these three simple things, and that's it, I would get messages from everybody, including my mother, who would tell me, you need an eye cream. Wear an eye cream. Use an eye cream. You need, you know, make sure you make that a part of your routine. So last year, I made a very conscious effort to incorporate an eye cream into my routine. And I tried a number of different um, eye creams. I'd get samples of them at Sephora. I would get samples at beauty desks um, of them, and then I would pick some up at the drugstore. And I like to consider myself very simple in terms of skincare. Um, even, you know, it, like everyday upkeep, I don't like to be too fussy. And I know, you know, I have a YouTube channel, obviously. I like some sort of fuss when it comes to a beauty skincare regimen. But the truth is, is I don't like to put a lot of effort into everything. Um, a lot of times my thoughtless things are the best like my thoughtless eyeshadow looks they're the absolute best my you know thoughtless outfits are I mean it's literally when I grab something and then something else and then put it on they're the best I mean I don't like to spend a lot of time on on things like that so my skincare regimen I have always said I don't ever want to be one of those people that uses six different things on my face and spends four hundred dollars you know on creams and stuff like that. Um, so face wash, I believe face wash is something that you don't need to spend uh, a large amount of money on. It, the amount of time that it's in contact with your face and then washing down the drain, I, I really think it should be inexpensive as long as you're getting your face clean. Now I wash my face twice the first time to remove makeup um, and I do it in the shower because that's after I take, after I do my workout so everything, you know, it just it's easy for me there. And then the second time I wash it is because if you ever wash your face once and then dry it, run a baby wipe over it and see how much makeup and dirt you're not really getting off. So the second time I wash it is for that purpose to make sure I remove everything and also to exfoliate with a buff puff. And the buff puff is just my cheap version of a um, facial brush. And I just, you know, buff it all over my face. And that is it. And then I get out and I'm done. Um, and so then, you know, moisturizer, uh, at night, every now and then I would need something and I would use a sample of like Estee Lauder or something that I had as a night cream. I don't have dry skin that often 
and when it is, it's patches, so I just stick something on it, and that's, you know, I'm done. And then in the morning, before I put my makeup on, I make sure to put a moisturizer with SPF on it. Recently, I found one that is specifically made for oily skin, and that has always been an issue with me, is most facial moisturizers with SPF are not beneficial for oily skin because it just makes you oily. Um, this one helps a little bit. It does not stop the oil, but it helps a little bit with the oil, and it is a Eucerin one. No. Uh, that's a whole other video, but it's an, it's another one. I'll find the name and put it down below. Um, so that's my facial moisturizer, and that is it. And then for eye creams, the ones that I started using last year, um, I started with the Sephora one because I went into Sephora and said, I need an eye cream. And of course, they took me to this like $80 little vat of eye cream, and I was like, yeah, you're funny. I'm not buying that. Um, show me something else. So I ended up getting like a $15 Sephora brand eye cream um, because I don't have lines or wrinkles yet under my eyes um, but I do have very dark circles and everybody tells me that it's very beneficial to wear eye cream if you have dark circles so that was my idea behind that and in that $15 little pump of eye cream from Sephora I didn't get anything out of it it did not help my circles it did not you know really do anything it didn't brighten my under eye area anything but I can tell you that my under eye area was very nicely moisturized and my concealer always applied better the next morning after I used an eye cream. So I have learned that I like eye creams for the moisturization properties and the way that they make my concealer appear the following day. If I skip using it at night, my concealer does not apply very well. So I see a benefit in that. And the specific reason for an eye cream, something that says eye cream on it, is because it is formulated for your eyes so that if it gets into your eyes it is not as irritating as say a regular moisturizer with SPF in it so you know I've had people tell me just use your moisturizer and put it under your under eye area and I understand the reasoning behind that but something for your eyes is specifically geared for that area it is formulated without irritants that are going to make your eyes you know puffy and you know irritated so this uh, Rock Retinol Correction Eye Cream visibly reduces wrinkles around the eyes, crow's feet, dark circles, and puffiness. Now, you know what drew me to this. It was the dark circle statement. It does not do that. It does not do that. This operates just like any other eye cream for me. Um, I don't have wrinkles or crow's feet, so I can't tell you whether or not it is beneficial, you know, for me for that. But as far as dark circles is concerned, it hasn't visibly reduced anything, and that's all I'm looking for. I'm not looking for some miracle potion that's going to erase my dark circles. I understand they're there. They're not really going to go anywhere. But I would like something that just kind of helps it a little bit so that I don't have to use that much concealer every time I conceal. You know, just a little bit less, to me, would be beneficial. It doesn't do that. But it is an eye cream, and it does work well to moisturize so that my concealer does apply better. Um, so I can say that I like it, I, you know, I do like it, I can say that, but I can't say that it does what it claims to do. So for me, any eye cream in this case would be like this one, but this is a good one. I, you know, it is a good one. Um, good in terms of it moisturizes my under eye area, does not do whatever else it claims to do, but that is how it works for me, it may work differently for you. Now the next thing is the Rock Retinol Correction Deep Wrinkle Night Cream Night. Visibly reduces expression lines and deep wrinkles. Now I bought it for that statement specifically because until um, last year, you know, I turned 30 and that's when I kind of kicked it into gear about let me learn a little bit about my skin. I don't want this drawn out routine or anything like that, but I did, you know, okay, I'll start using an eye cream. So I'm experimenting eye creams and I, everything I try, I tell you guys about. Um, and then up here, I make these, you see those lines? I make these expressions with my face, you know, just throughout the day, just talking. And then, of course, I've got, you know, a two-year-old. So it's, bring it to mommy, yay! You know, I mean, I'm always constantly um, applauding or you know, even my daughter. I express myself through my facial features like most people. And in doing so, we've created these lines that start to appear on our face. Now, I have had... <clears throat> excuse me, laugh lines since I was probably in high school um, where my makeup would settle into them and I'd have to blend them out throughout the day. I've had those for a while. Those, I think, you know, are just part of age and, and that's fine. I'm fine with those. But these up here, I've got these two and they go like two lines up here that over the years have become 
more prominent. And I noticed last year that my makeup was starting to really settle into those lines. And when I'm relaxed, like now, you can see a line of makeup. And then I would, you know, I'd have to do this to blend it out throughout the day. That was becoming really annoying because I kept thinking, you know, oh my gosh, what, what do I do for these lines? And I kept telling my husband and my husband's like, Are you, Botox is like the only thing you're going to be able to do. And I'm like, well, I'm only 30. I'm not ready for Botox yet. Like that is like last resort when I'm later, you know, older, I'm not ready for that. So I started to really look into creams. And this one, the, the um, claim that it makes really is true. It really is true. Now, the first week I bought this, um, within like three or four days, I started to notice that they were not receding, not going away, but just kind of, um, fading, I guess. Not, you know, they're there, they're there, like even now, they're, they're there, they're not going anywhere, but they are almost like if you airbrush them, you know, when you put your makeup on, it's, it's a little different. Um, and... I like the way they look now. My makeup does not settle into them anymore. And I even started applying it around my mouth. And even there, I've noticed a little bit of a difference. So I do like this a lot. I do think that I will be repurchasing this just because of the, um, dif it diffuses. That's the word I was looking for earlier. It diffuses those lines, the appearance of those lines. Um, and within the first couple of days, the first week, I really noticed that. Now, the second week that I started, that I was wearing this, I noticed some redness where I was applying it. And I'm only, I'm not applying it all over. I'm only applying it here and here. And that is it. Those areas started to become red. And that lasted for a little while, but it was, I was covering it with makeup. And it says on the back here that um, it, you may experience mild tingling or redness during use, normal and should be temporary until your skin adjusts. So I wasn't alarmed by that or anything. And the tingling sensation, yes, you do feel a tingling. It's not a burning sensation. I guess it might be burning for some people. Everybody's tolerance of um, burning or tingling is different. I might say it tingles. You might say it's excruciating. Um, I honestly, I like to think that I have very high pain tolerance. So for me, it's like, oh, it just tickles a little bit and that's it. Um, but like I said, and then if you've got sensitive skin, I can't claim that I have sensitive skin. Um, I really, I have always been one of those people that can slap anything on my face and not have a problem. Uh, until I tried Estee Lauder's Double Wear Foundation, and that is a different story completely. Anyhow, I, you know, I'm not one of those people. I don't consider myself to have sensitive skin. I think I'm very fortunate in that because I know everybody has something that, oh, I can't wear that, I can't do that, I can't do it. And I've always considered myself fortunate that I really can't make those claims. So... For me, it doesn't bother me, the tingling sensation, um, but it might, some of you guys might be a little too sensitive for it. So I don't think it, you know, anything bad. And then when it was red, I didn't think anything bad either because it says it specifically on here. And then um, about two and a half, maybe three weeks in, I started peeling here, here, and then up here. Um, and it was bad. Like <laughs> I was driving to work and I was like, what's going on with my face? And I'm like, whoa. And it's funny. I catch everything in my car mirror, you know, in my vanity mirror. I do not catch it at home in my mirror. I catch everything in that mirror. And I was like, oh my goodness. So then I was like getting lotion and putting it on my face so that patches weren't so noticeable that day. And then I just made sure to exfoliate a lot, you know, a little better. And it, it went away within, you know, two or three days. I wasn't as dry there um, anymore. And I've just continued to use it. I guess, you know, you troop through it. I continue to use it. I'm really just really liking it. I like what it does. I, it, it does what it claims, you can say. Um, now, it does have a sunburn alert because it has alpha hydroxy acid, AHA, increases your skin sensitivity to the sun. Um, so you're particularly sensitive to sunburn. That is very true. I typically avoid the sun as it is, so I really don't have an uh, issue with that claim. When I am outside, I have an SPF on. I've got SPF in my moisturizer, in my makeup, my foundation. My primer has it if I wear primer. So I'm pretty good when it comes to SPF. If I know, that's just, you know, for walking in and out. If I know I'm going to be out in the sun, like when I cut the grass on Sundays or, you know, in the morning when I know the sun is going to be on me, that's what I put on my face. I don't put makeup on or anything to go cut the grass, but I make sure I slather on sunscreen. So I make sure that if I'm out there for extended periods, I've got something on my face. Um, it's never bare because this is, you know, really sensitive. So that is that. 
This is great. This is just an eye cream. Um, I can't tell you it does anything special other than moisturize your under eye area. So that is my review on those two products, plus my two cents on a lot of other things. Um, you guys know I talk. I am a talker. That is part of my nature. Um, I can be very rambly. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.